Producing a zero thirty tango video is a long process, so let's see how Jonas does it. He's always ready on time, and at most, dances a tender or two before the performance. During the recording, he's glued to the screen at all times. He actually sees the performance for the first time at home. He backs up everything twice. This usually happens at night, after the milonga. Most venues are very dark. He does basic adjustments to the brightness and colors. To render a new video of this needs time. Finally, time to go to bed, Jonas. The sound during most performances is also less than ideal. Air conditioning is running and the microphone also makes noises. That's why he processes every performance to achieve a nice sound. You won't need to change the volume while watching. He feeds the new video back into the editor which gets cut into single songs. He prepares titles for the dancers, venue and music. This he edits together and exports it again. Time to upload to YouTube and off to a long coffee break. Having a nice preview picture helps to create interest. He prepares different ones for 030tango.com, YouTube and Facebook. Title, tags and a description will help you find it. A custom outro leads you from one performance to the next. Info cards promote the dancers, festivals, and upcoming events. Time to publish on 030tango.com and Facebook. This one performance of four songs took him 18 hours and one minute to publish. In 2016, he published 93 performances with 436 songs. To edit the sound and video of a concert takes him around two days, and a short movie can take anywhere from three hours to a whole day. If we add all that up, it's about 135 days out of the year. With a few exceptions, this work was all done by Jonas himself. This is why we ask for a small contribution on Patreon, so we can continue this work for you.